Hello everyone, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this thank you card. This card kicks off my thank you season, which will be Christmas week and New Year week, because we all need thank you cards. Um, so, get started, you will need some a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored and folded in half a piece of uh, basic black at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white at five and three eighths by three and five eighths a piece of black at five and three no three and five eighths by an inch and a half and then a piece of white cardstock at three and five eighths by one that's one and yeah that's one and five eighths and this is one and a half just to give you a little bit of border now to do this you will also need blends and a scrap of black for this flower which I have already cut out and this is cut out using the dies from um, the Oh my god, Summer Wishes Thin Lips Dyes. Summer Wishes Thin Lips Dyes, I think. Gainer, boys give me these dyes. So um, that's why they're still in a bag. I haven't put them on a magnet sheet yet. And they will, that will sit there. You also need a piece of tissue paper. Um, you can use coloured. Whatever colour you do your background in. And you can get the tissue paper to match if not a piece of white like I've got and then you just color it in so that's what we'll do but to get started we will do our background now I'm not going to be boring and color it all in and I've just sent my tissue paper flying but it's there Right, the stamp sets I'm using is for retired stamp set, Birthday Blooms. And I just want that flower. On this one I used a flower shop flower. But I want to use that flower this time. And for the sentiment petal palette we're just going to use the word thank you. Right, I've got it inked up. Uh, got the stamp mounted. All you want with your basic no memento tuxedo black is just randomly stamp your flower wherever you want Stamp it all over the page. Let's put a little bit there. I think that will do nicely. Clean that afterwards. And while we're at it, I might as well stamp our thank you on our small piece of white cardstock and we're going to stamp this down in the left hand corner and probably have stamped it straight yeah no I don't like that let's do it again put the card straight that would help my stamp is straight Do it a 
again. That's better. And we'll just pop that to one side. Right. I'm going to colour this in. And what I've done, I've used the dark. I'm using lovely, lovely as lipstick. No, lovely lipstick. So the dark lipstick. I just go around the outside of every petal. Just to make them stand out. And this idea, by the way, is not mine. We made this card at Card Glass with Katie Freeman. It's her idea. I did say to her, I said, asked her if she mind if I cased it. And she said, go for it. So, I am. Just go around each. Each petal. No, I'm not going to do it all. What I will do is this one. Once you've been around all your flowers, um, let's do this bit. Now, once you get your light one and the brush end. And then you just colour in everything that's left, not the flowers, and try and keep going the same direction with your pen. Because you get a better finish then. And that's all you do. Go around each flower. And colour in all the white. This won't go to the waste. I'll, um, Finish it off and make a second lipstick one. And that's all you do. And once you've coloured all that in, you will get, in Blue Peter fashion, that. go on top of your black. Look how well that stands out. Do you know what? I can actually see a bit of mist. Uh, 
now on this one I did go all the same way on this one I went up and down side to side where you can actually see the difference so I do like it like that right then before we stick it on the black we need to stick our um, thank you sign on because it will need trimming off so where's my glue on the black and that is going to go on flat so on let's get it on straight um, stick it yeah there right now we just trim this Off. Like <coughs> now we'll stick this to our card base or to the base of black and then the card base off our thank you session because I like to send thank you cards for my Christmas gifts that really stands out against the black right to do the um, black and the paper what I do need is my um, mat there it is my silicon mat I couldn't find it in my box and I just kicked my scoreboard over right on tissue paper you've got a shiny side and a matty side. On the matty side, um, I'm going to colour it in um, the dark. So all I'm going to do is like this, colour in enough to stick this flower on. I need to come right to the edge that's enough that will come off it just needs a good rub right now then we need to stick this 
on here. Now what Katie did do, um, she stamped a spotted design inside the flower, but I won't do that because I don't have, but I do have that. Let's try that. So my lovely lipstick ink. This one, the flowers. Can you see that? The flower design. A block. And just randomly put the flowers on it. Sorry about that. Oh my god. It's not shutting. That's better. And then that will just give it a On the shiny side, that's what we'll do. Just gives it a bit of dimension. So we'll stick this on using a little bit of glue, little bit, not big blobs. And then in a minute we shall get messy. Oh no, I don't want to do that bit yet. So uh, and then with decent scissors you just want to trim this off just trim all the paper off Try not to cut the flower like I've just done. name for this technique but can I remember it? No. To me it looks like stained glass. Don't be surprised that's what it's called. Just goes to show you wasn't listening to everything Katie said. <laughs> Just 
Right. There you are. Now, as you can see on this, it's all nice and shiny. That's because we're now going to get messy. I'm going to close that up a minute. Right. I've got some glossy accents here. And hopefully it is not blood. All you do is get out some blobs like that and with your finger just rub it all in or down the stem as well. And that will give you a nice shiny flower. Lift it off before it sticks. Take away that before it dries. Now you can wait till it dries, but I won't. I will stick it straight on the card. my card over and stick that down like that See my fingers. Sticky. And you get all inky as well. So there you have it. Once that dry dries, that will become nice and shiny. If you don't have glossy accent and you have the um, the glue from stamping up with the thin um, glue adapter, you could use that because that's all that is. It's just a watered down glue, watered down glossy accents. So you could use that on to make it shiny. All we've got to do now is add some black gems. I have got some here. Oh, I don't want separate ones. Wanted three in a row, and I should pop them. There. So there you have it. I think a really pretty thank you card. As you've seen, I've done it in um, Melon Mango Melody, and I've also done it in Highland Heather. Well, if you like that, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, and if you press the bell button next to it, you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and hope to see you again soon. Bye.